What's up? It's your favorite attorney, Attorney Allie Booker, and it's time for order in the court. You already know what time it is. You write me, you email me, booker at bookerlawfirm.com. I bring your case to the court of my public opinion, and I let you know what you need to do. Now, you can't take this as legal advice because I don't represent you. However, I am going to do my best job at setting you straight and telling you exactly what you need to do. Sometimes we need to know before we go to court or during court cases exactly what we need to do. Sometimes we just have a couple questions. Without further ado, let's get a crack of lacking and let's get court in session. Can I file for custody? There's a friend of the family that caught a CPS case three years ago. So I had temporary custody of her five-year-old and her one-month-old baby. Her case got closed six months later, but she didn't want her kids back at that time. She never visits them. Her baby, the child, the little one, doesn't even know her, and now she wants to come pick the kids up three years later. Is there anything that I can do, or should I just hand the children over? Oh, my goodness, order. Order in the court. Honey, you're not handing those children over, girl. No, you don't. No, ma'am, you do not, okay? I need you to immediately file for a temporary restraining order and temporary custody. You're going to file a motion to modify, meaning there's a court order already open, clearly, because CPS opened up a case. Whenever CPS opens up a case against somebody, they establish paternity and they establish maternity of the children. So that's already been done for you. They also put an order which establishes who's going to be that person's caretaker and what parent has custody. They ended up giving the mom back her kids so she ended up getting custody in this case so there is an order that you need to modify you need to let them know that these children have been with you for all of this time and she is coming to pick them up and it's not in their best interest that she do so there are many times that people will ask you to keep their children a lot of the times we don't want to take them to court for it we believe they're going to stay away and then they scare us scare the dickens out of us telling us they're coming to pick up these children once the children are older Okay, or once they're settled. Um, and this is not something that's good for children. It creates an unstable, unstable environment for children. And I am just vehemently opposed to it. I don't believe that children should drop, parents should drop their children off with people for long periods of time, months, years, and then just come and take them back. I believe that if you are a parent that does not want to parent, then you need to give custody of your children to someone who does. And if that person is taking very good care of your children, then you as a parent, you may have a right to come back and ask for them, but I don't think you should get them. And I don't think that many judges will hand those children over to that mother. And you need to let the, the, the judge know where these children have been. The, the goal and the aim of the court always is to keep what's going on in place as long as that's good for the child. And so that's what's been going on. It's what's best for the child. And ma'am, do not hand those kids over on pain of death. Don't you do it. I mean, don't you do it. And if she files something against you in court, which is that that which that is what she will need to do, then you make sure you counterfile right away and you let the judge know what's going on. But you better hit her first. If the police come to your door, they don't have a warrant, then you don't have to open that door. But you need to consult an attorney quickly. You need to file a motion against this mother and you need to make sure that you get emergency custody right away. The judges in many jurisdictions will review a case based on affidavits and what you say and grant you temporary custody at least for like a couple of weeks until they can get you into court. So that's what you need to go for. Guys, I know this happens a lot, but we're not allowing people to just come get children, especially if you know they're not all the way right. Don't you do it. Don't fail those children. Next case. Can't believe her little sorry button came after three years. Baby, those are not her children anymore. No, ma'am. Those are not her kids. Next case. Think it's time I made that call. I'm locked up and facing charges. Who gon' fight these cases for me? I called with the law firm. They got the job done. They were right there for me. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713-292-2225.